let's take a look at how we write down atomic notation. So atomic notation is a handy way of showing the parts that make up a particular atom or element. In our first example from question three of our handbook, we have sodium, Na. Now the numbers beside it are 23 and 11. The top number, when we write using scientific, when we write using atomic notation, 23 is the mass number. Let's record that in our chart. That number tells us the total of the number of protons and neutrons is equal to 23, but it doesn't tell us how many of each. The second number gives us that clue. So the lower number, 11, tells us the number of protons in this particular atom. So that's 11 protons. So this is called the atomic number. Because atoms are often neutral, we can use this number to figure out the number of electrons in a neutral sodium atom. If there's 11 protons, there has to be 11 electrons. Now let's figure out the number of neutrons. We have 23 in total for the nucleus. So if we do 23 subtract 11, we get 12 neutrons. Great, let's try phosphorus together. So let's figure out the mass number since we know the number of protons and neutrons. The mass number is the total number of particles in the nucleus. So we add 15 and 16 to get 31. Now let's write this down using atomic notation. The symbol for phosphorus is P and the mass number, the higher number, is 31. And the atomic number is the number of protons, that's 15. Okay, let's move on to the next one, argon. I'm gonna give you a few moments as we go through this video for you to think of the responses. So we know the mass number is 40 and the number of neutrons is 22. Let's figure out the number of protons. So 40 minus 22 equals 40 minus 22 equals 18. So the atomic number for argon is 18. Let, let's put this together in our atomic notation. Begin by writing the symbol for the element argon. Next, write the atomic, write the mass number in the upper position. Now write the atomic number, the number of protons, in the lower position. Okay, let's check your work. So the symbol is AR, the mass number is 40, and the atomic number, the number of protons, is 18. Great. Let's move on to argon. Now I want you to try this without me explaining the steps. So pause the video here, and when you're ready, you can unpause it, and we'll go through it together. Okay, pause the video now, please. Okay, let's figure this out. The mass number for oxygen is 16, which means the number of neutrons must be 16 minus eight. That equals eight. Let's write it out in atomic notation. The symbol for oxygen is O, the mass number goes in the upper position, that's 16. And the atomic number goes in the lower position, that's eight. Great. Now the last one is for you to try again. So pause the video now, please. Okay, let's take a look at magnesium. The top number in atomic notation gives us the mass number. So for magnesium, that's 25. The bottom number gives us the atomic number, the number of protons, that's 12. And so the number of neutrons in this atom must be 25 minus 12, that's 13. Good. So I hope you're okay with these techniques. If not, I recommend you cover up these answers and try them out again until it feels natural to you.